Hi, my name is Pat Maher with ASIC Building Products, and today we're going to talk about installing ASIC Reserve Rail System. ASIC Reserve Rail System is a bigger, beefier system than the Premier Rail System. It uses a 5.5 inch wide top rail, 6 by 6 post sleeves, a wider bottom rail, and a wider baluster. Included in each 6 and 8 foot kit is your baluster, your retainer rail, your bottom rail, and your master hardware pack. It's important to note that your top rail, your post sleeves, your post caps, and your post skirts are not included in the kit and need to be purchased separately. It's important to make sure your measurements are correct between your posts to get a proper baluster spacing. I'm going to show you that now. Once your post sleeves are in place, take your measurement between the post sleeves, transfer that distance to your rail. It's important to take the distance from the center of your rail, measure out half the distance in both directions, and make your cuts on both ends to ensure that you have proper spacing for your balusters on the ends of the rail. Take that same measurement and transfer it onto your bottom rail as well. Now it's time to install the brackets on the, hard, on the rails. I'm going to start by placing one of your brackets on the end of the rail. Take your pencil or pen, mark the holes onto the rail, remove that. Using a 3 16 bit, you're going to drill out the holes with a pilot hole. It's important on the bottom rail to make sure and only go through one wall of the rail and not go through the entire rail. After you drill your pilot hole, switch to a 3 8, set, 3 8 inch bit and widen out the holes. The Allen key, that's pro we provide an Allen key in each kit. Helpful tip to install the, the grommets into the, the rail is to cut off the top of the Allen key, giving you a straight piece. Install that into your drill and then drive it in. Once the grommets are in, you can place your bracket back in place. Install that with the screws provided. Repeat that process on all four ends of the rail. Next you're going to build your ladder section, starting with the retainer rail and using the smaller screws provided in the kit. You're going to feed the screws through the retainer, line up your baluster, putting the screw into the screw chase that's in the baluster. Tighten the screw down and just let the screw draw the baluster in. It's important at this time if your drill has a high torque low speed setting to set your drill there. Once all your balusters are screwed into the retainer rail, flip the section over, place your bottom rail onto the balusters. And using the longer screws provided, place the screws through the hole and line them up with the chase in your baluster. Finger tighten all the screws. Once they're all in, drop the rail down, come back and tighten all the screws down. One of the benefits of the reserve system is it allows for an over the post application. You're certainly allowed to go between 6 by 6s with 6 by 6 post sleeves every 6 or 8 feet if you'd like. Otherwise, we provide the top rail in a 6, 8, 12, or 16 foot length for a continuous run. Starting at a 6 by 6 when you get to your end at a 6 or an 8 foot run, you can continue your top rail right over your 4x4 four four and continue on down the line. We have splicer pieces which will connect your um, top rail runs so that if you have a 32 foot run you can continue on uninterrupted. After your, rail, after your ladder section is complete you're going to set it in place. We've made blocks on the bottom to hold the ladder section in place at the right height. You want to make sure your retainer rail is above your center post sleeve if you're going to do the over the post application. Once that's in place and level, you're going to take your pencil and you're going to mark the holes on your brackets so that you can pre-drill the holes.
Once your sub rail kits are in place, cut your top rail to fit between the posts. Drop that down in place. You can finish off the ends of the rail using the post connectors. Post connectors are also available in an inline connector, a 45 degree connector, and a 22 and a half degree connector. Using the self tapping screws supplied, screw up through the bottom of the retainer rail into the bottom of the top rail and that will tighten down the top rail to hold it in place. Finish off with caps and skirts. Caps are only available on island, in an island cap and the reserve rail system is only available in white at this time. ASIC rail is available in 6 and 8 foot lengths, 36 and 42 inch heights and additional balusters can be purchased in longer lengths if code requires in your area. ASIC rail carries a 20 year warranty and you can find ASIC Rail as well as all ASIC building products at a dealer near you just by clicking on the dealer locator button on this site.